Tony, did Austin Heimley send you a statement there over those last couple of innings? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it was his first opportunity to do so. His brother sent more of a statement than anything, I, dealing with his jaw thing. So I'm struggling a little bit, didn't feel that great today. And then, you know, you're worried about a little bit of a lull. I mean, we didn't even travel back here until yesterday afternoon. We enjoyed playing, you know, the night game out there in Texas, but it comes with some repercussions. But anyway, fast forward to right before the game, see Sean Hunley in the park. We've been waiting for that guy to come around forever. I don't know if he's been training or he's got a girlfriend or what, but, um, you know, you, I'd be lying. You'd like him a little more because he was such a good pitcher for us, but he's such a good dude, and his brother's right in line with him. The whole family's phenomenal. And so kind of gave me good vibes for the game, and I was glad he was here. He's obviously here because he knew his bro was going to pitch, um, but I didn't know his pit bro was going to pitch that long and pitch that well. So um, we knew he was capable of that. Um, but yeah, he, he sent a little message that he wants the ball. And we're looking for guys to do that this time of year, and position player included. What allowed him to be effective there? You know, he knows how to compete on game day. I mean, just had a conversation with our guys. I mean, there's a big difference between scrimmages and the games. And it, it, if I was a fan, I could try and put myself in, in a, you know, a fan's shoes. If I'm hearing the coach saying, well, we don't know what we got yet, or how's this guy going to be his first time out, or how's this guy going to handle this situation, I'd be like, well, aren't you paying attention in practice and the bullpens? And I'm not that old, but I've coached enough. You can watch as many bullpens as you want and scrimmages as you want. You don't really know what you got till game day because guys get emotional. They do different things. And, um, you know, he, he seems to be able to compete um, the way he needs to on game day. Again, first go around. Uh, so it's awesome. Yeah, the last few guys that have been on that mound for us have, have made a statement that they want the ball again. What was it like just having this home opener, seeing fans in the new portion of the park and all those things? Yeah, it was, it's weird. It's, it's surreal. I mean, the, the third deck added to the aesthetics, and it's right across from our sight line in the dugout. So it was just kind of cool to, to see. I mean, the second deck was kind of emotional because some of the players really got emotional about it and, and were excited about having that built backtrack another year or two, the artificial surface was just every day you reminded yourself you're lucky, um, that good things will happen in this program if we keep working hard. Uh, but this deal is kind of a whole total different thing. I mean, it makes it look like, a, you know, a pro park. Um, you know, I don't, even, I don't even mean professional baseball. I just mean first class is the right phrase. And uh, we're not done, which is exciting. But for now, we're going to enjoy this. How did you assess what Schaefer gave you? It was good. I, I think, you know, um, sometimes these guys are able to go out there and announce their presence with authority in high school um, because their stuff is so different from those around them. And um, even though we got some guys that can get the ball up to 100, literally, I don't know that we have that many power pitchers. You just got to go out there and pitch to what is your strengths and, you know, uh, work with the catcher and work with Coach Anderson and just how do we get the guy out? You know, it's, it's kind of like some of our hitters. They can go up there. We got some guys that can hit balls a long way in BP. But when the game starts, you know, you just got to get in the box and figure out how you're going to square the baseball up against that particular pitcher or in that particular situation, whether we're trying to move the runner from second or, or from third or whatever it might be. Um, so I, I think he found himself in that kind of compete mode and got in that little rhythm in the second and third inning, the more he was out there. Eventually we had to take him out because of pitch count. And, you know, Sneed, who I just saw there, um, same thing. The more he was out there, the more he got in that rhythm of, of just competing, find a way to get outs. What did you like about that transition, sixth inning, whatever it was, from, from Binky to Humley, and a couple guys on, one was from an error, one was from a walk, and then um, you had the other guy come in and just find a way out of it? Yeah, you know, I mean, Binky gave us more than we thought, too. I mean, we, we weren't quite sure what we were going to do, and we had a couple guys hot at different times, but those were three different looks. If you're the Asheville hitters, you know, an over-the-top righty, a lower righty, and in between them, you know, goofball Banky out there uh, who's got a unique look and really good stuff. Um, but the fact that they, they maintained composure uh, when it was a rocky start in the first inning, the situation you mentioned, and then, you know, it's, it's easier said than done, but it's a one-run lead. You, you got out there in the eighth and ninth inning, you, you go out there and keep your composure. So overall, I think composure is the word that, that sticks out. What went wrong for the offense today? Uh, I, I just, it was a casual approach that was the vibe I got. I get it. Um, I feel it too. Uh, tough travel day, pretty exciting tournament. You may have a little bit of a lull. Um, I thought the strike zone was good, but both you know guys were calling strikes. 
or, or both sides were throwing strikes. It just didn't seem to be that offensive of a day, I guess is what I'm getting at. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't grind out at bats and, and get yourself in a good spot like we did when Billy, you know, struck up the middle, makes an adjustment, uh, hits a ball up the middle, and we, we let it hit us. I mean, that's, that's not a mistake we need to make again. Um, but, but overall, just it, it was an underachieving performance from them overall. Yeah, I mean, he's got a special arm. It, 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 we've talked about it. I, I don't know who everybody else is in the SEC, so I, you can't really say it, but you throw it out as a locker room comment, you know, that it might be the best outfield arm in the SEC. But w wherever it ranks, I mean, it's really good. He works at it. He takes pride in it. And we're glad to have it as an asset for us. I mean, that, look back at how that game went. I mean, that was massive. Um, and then just the fact you see him using the whole field, I, I, you want hits, but the fact he's using the whole field will even take outs where he's backspinning balls to the middle or opposite side of the field at times because we, we've all seen him hit balls a long way to the right side. And it was nice to see him hit it to the right side and move the runner, um, but that's a really good reflection of his approach when he's able to use the whole field. Dallas tomorrow being the, the plan, or do you know who you're going to go with? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, he's available. I mean, he was available tonight too uh, in the bullpen, so. Uh, we'll see what we want to do. He's going to pitch tomorrow, that's for sure. I think a matter of kind of what order. But, again, we, we kind of mapped out um, today's deal, and sometimes, you know, guys change your mind by how they're performing out there. And last one, how cautious are y'all being with Dallas right now, given that he missed those seven months? I think he's okay. Um, same thing with him and Combs. Um, they, they weren't there right at the beginning of spring training or January, but – I think everybody on that side is kind of where they need to be. And Dean Curley was, was kind of swinging a bat um, for us. I think he's ready to go. Um, so I don't, you know, I, I don't know when it'll be, but he'll make his first appearance this week too. So getting them all out there, and, and I think we're at our best and we'll have everybody. But as the season goes on, there's going to be little nicks and knacks, and, and guys are going to get opportunities maybe when they're not quite expecting it. So I hope they all stay prepared and stay ready. And, Again, casual was the word I used with them, so I used it with you all. It needs to be a less casual effort time and time again. You, you only get so many of these games to play. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Appreciate it. I hope it gets better.